as you can see when i click inside one plot or you can say one parcel that's gonna auto fill that's amazing right let's try another one let's try plot number three when i click inside that that's gonna auto fill now the magic is when i click the right button of the mouse as you can see this is the magic it actually shows the area and parameter of the same property or parcel this is pretty amazing hey guys i'm suleiman khan and in this video we'll be just reviewing one feature of the pdf blueprint and that is known by the auto fill let's exit the application and then let's reopen it by double click of course you can download it from the link given in the description now i'm going to click on the file and then of course open of course you can open any pdf file using pdf blueprint now let me just try one file let's say this time a 2d plan that is 2 i'm going to click on the open and of course as you can see this is a drawing pretty amazing okay pdf blueprint have bunch of features but in this same video I'll be just focusing on the auto fill functionality and of course you can access that by clicking on this major tab and of course this is a nice dialog box so you can see a dialog box which is actually named as the major okay there are many commands over here but I'll focus on the panel which is area and parameter let's just try the rectangular one okay I'm gonna click on the rectangular one we got a prompt because the scale is not seen on the current page so I'm gonna click on the setup now now I'm going to specify two points so the PDF blueprint can extract the distance between those two points okay for the scale I'm going to click on this corner and that one because we already know the distance between those two points and there is of course seven feet okay so I'm going to just type seven over here and I'm going to click OK now as you can see I can use all these functionalities or features let's just try the rectangle I'm going to click on this tab and then of course let's just specify a rectangular area by specifying two points you can say like that as you can see bam that's done so the pdf blueprint is going to extract the area and parameter of the same rectangle let's just try this one okay you can say the bedroom okay i'm going to specify two corners you can say of the same bedroom and then of course that's the area and parameter pretty simple okay next let's just try the polygon option I'm going to click on the polygon and then of course now if you don't know what to do look at the command bar left click to specify the first point of the area okay now let's just determine the area which is of course the combination of bedroom and then the tv lounge okay i'm going to click over here and then of course over there and then i'm going to draw you can say a polygon now as you can see when you're done you can of course right click to finish okay i have been just click that right button of the mouse and as you can see you have actually the area and parameter of the same polygon okay now you can click anywhere in the same working you can say space uh, you can say in the same page okay you can click anywhere like these points and then of course with right click you can end the command okay the area that is 105 in the parameter of course that is 40. now let's just try the auto fill and this is what i really like about the pdf blueprint okay this is pretty amazing thing and for this let me just go to the file and then of course i'm going to open one another thing uh, maybe you can say the subdivision and let's just try the determination of the same uh, plots area as you can say okay i have these subdivisions and i required to label the areas and parameter of each uh, plot you can say for that i'm going to click on the auto fill okay from the same dialog box which is moyer and of course this is a new drawing so i'm going to uh, set up the scale so set up the scale now i'm going to click that one and of course i know the size of the same shop as you can see i'm going to click over here and then of course this point so the scale is going to be just uh, based on uh, the specified points distance you can say the, the distance between those two points and that is of course 12 units so i'm going to click ok now the scale has been set so i'm going to click again on the major tab and then of course auto fill now if you don't know what to do look at the command bar click or hold down the left key to fill so we're going to click inside the boundary okay and then of course we're going to hold it down like maybe you can say let's just try the plot number two okay i'm going to click inside and of course hold it as you can see that's been auto filled pretty amazing okay now let's just try one another thing this one 
Hujra. Okay, that's done. And let's just try the plot number five. Okay, I'm gonna click inside, then of course hold it. Now, if you have clicked in the wrong place, of course, you can just uh, press the space to make a step. Like, let's just press the space. And of course, that's done, okay? That's, you can say, like in, in undo, okay? So let's just try it again. Click inside the plot five, and of course, that's done. Now, just right click to finish. I'm gonna click the right button of the mouse, and of course, that's gonna label all the areas, and you can say the parameter of the same plots. As you can see, that's done. It's amazing. Look at that. Area, that's at 1,403 years, and of course, a parameter that's also shown. So this is how we can use autofill functionality of the PDF blueprint and download it from the link which is given in the description.